paint all the things. Hello and welcome back to step 3 of this painting guide. Today it is the 21st of November 2015 and let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the models so far. As you might have noticed it's been quite a while since my last entry. Uh, well, it's been a fast forward for your viewers but for me as the creator, the, the, he who makes these videos, there's been roughly a period of two months between these uh, set uh, these parts and so we're gonna finish up this entire painting guide so what we're gonna do for the next step is that we're gonna be using the fang to dry brush on the black areas like for instance on the shoulder pads here and on the parchments here. Then I'm gonna be using Evil Sun Scarlet and that's only to paint the wax on these parts as you can see here that are white. Uh, then you have the options if you want to to paint scripture on these uh, uh, on these uh, word bearers uh, and I, I would recommend that you use Ceramite White then. Uh, me personally won't be doing that uh, because as you can see I'm not the best at doing writings that looks um, believable so I don't really want to mess up with my marines but if you feel confident that you can write scripture on the on the armor go ahead do it and then we're gonna be using none oil all over the bottom and one thing which I forgot to mention, uh, mention in my other video where I do my expiring champions which technically will, will be uploaded afterwards uh, in another chronological order uh, but I do winter uh, a winter theme for my word bears so I would recommend that you use this snow to uh, um, apply on the bases so it looks more believable and then I'm also going to be using these transfer sheets and use the markings for the word bearers as you can see here and to apply it on the models I would be using satin warness as a protective layer so in a quick conclusion on what we're going to be doing is dry brush the fang on the black areas do evil sun scarlet on the wax parts of the parchments ceramite white if you want to paint scripture on the armor Finish off with non oil all over the model, apply snow on the bases, uh, and use transfer sheets on their shoulder pads, and then use satin varnish on top of that. Now you know what we're gonna do for the next step, so see you all in the last step, everyone. Step 4 of this painting guide. Today it is the 28th of 
November 2015. And let's go and check out the final details of this painting guide. First we have the books here. Uh, I don't find found any proper use for them on these models, so I think I'm gonna save them from some other word bearers perhaps. But here we have the the dude with the bolter and the sheen sword. Uh, it didn't put, plan out exactly as I had hoped it to be, uh, like on the picture, because uh, some, for some reason this sheen sword arm is it's located differently on the white dwarf uh, pages. But I added this uh, scroll here on the side, which has a writing and a mark of chaos upon it. Then we have here the next guy, who was supposed to be the straight man. Uh, I'm glad how he turned out. He looks exactly how I'd planned for the, um, the less developed traitors to look like, but I, I shouldn't have added this uh, scroll on the side. Uh, you can't see it here, but the, this white marking underneath is supposed to be the tactical squad marking. But here on the back we have something which I like, which is also the marks and the incantations of the word bearers. This one is, uh, well, it's kind of alright. I've never been a fan of these arms, the way they look like. Uh, but the head, which you can see, the raptor head, turned out great to use for these uh, word bearers, or this word bearer. And underneath here you see the different uh, types of heads for the for the word bearers. I went, I never went with using any, any one of them. Uh, for some reason, I'm not, not, not the biggest fan of them, I just. But yeah, so that's more or less everything we had for this painting guide. You will have a lot of content to browse, uh, for, uh, browse through here in the coming future with the, everything from uh, different regular word bearers to aspiring champions to uh, not Dreadnought, but uh, yeah, the, the, the um, chaos uh, equivalents, and uh, yeah, cultists. So thank you very much for following this painting guide. It's been a, in a, a long in the making. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos, and also leave comments on things I'm doing good, so I'll keep on doing them, and leave negative critique of things I'm doing bad, so either improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this uh, painting guide. Death to the False Emperor. Bye!